Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can somewhat improve your um, you know, display quality within your Xbox Series S. This is also work with uh, Xbox One and Series X as well. Um, so essentially what I'm trying to show you is, you know, everyone has a different monitor with different capabilities, whether that be resolution, um, HDR compatibility, refresh rate, and a lot of the times um, your Xbox won't like pick up these uh, features by default when you're setting up your Xbox for the first time. So um, if you do have a monitor slash TV with some of these capabilities, you know, you're going to have to, it's going to strictly depend on your model. Um, this is essentially what you want to do to like, you know, maximize the overall, um, you know, look of your Xbox and like within games and stuff. Um, because you don't want to be playing at a lower resolution when your TV or monitor can go up to something higher. Um, likewise, the refresh rate um, or frames per second. So essentially what you want to do is um, come into settings, I'm in settings here, go into general, and then go into TV and display options. So this is going to be the hub for uh, everything you can control. Um, right off the bat, like next to display, this is going to show you what your monitor slash TV can go up to in terms of resolution. Every monitor and TV is different. Um, it'll list this on the packaging when you actually buy it. Um, so if you do have a 1080p monitor, the max value here is going to say 1080p, likewise for 720 and 1440. Um, my monitor is a 1440p monitor, so obviously I'm going to select that. Um, just a side note, if you do use a capture card, your capture card is going to limit uh, the amount of you know data being sent into your monitor because it's splitting the HDMI connection. So your capture card, like an Elgato, might be capped at like mine for example the hd60 it's capped at 1080 outputting 1080p 60 frames per second so if i have a monitor you know that's 1440p and 120 hertz i'm not gonna be able to use that if i'm using a capture card hence why i currently don't have mine plugged in because i want to you know maximize my uh my uh display when i'm playing games um or maximize my screen quality so select that Refresh rate, this is essentially how fast your screen's going to refresh. Um, and, you know, most of the time people have 60 hertz monitors and TVs, but nowadays you're seeing a lot more 120 hertz, 144 hertz pop up. So uh, if you do have that, um, you can go all the way up to 120 hertz. Now, the Xbox only supports up to 120 hertz. My monitor is actually 144, I believe. That's not going to show up here because the Xbox um, itself cannot even output that amount of uh, power. So, uh, so yeah, 120 hertz, 1440p. Um, the Xbox Series S can also output, or I'm sorry, yeah, Series S is capped at 1440p. If you have a Series X, this can go up to 4K. Um, device control, that's not important. Night mode. This is not really important either. Um, this is just like to control brightness and and stuff um, if it's late at night to help protect your eyes. Um, the next thing I do is go over to video modes. This is a lot where the features are gonna show up that you can use. Um, and the ones that are not available to click, I don't know if you guys know this, but that just means you just don't have that option. Like this feature is not baked into your monitor. I don't know why they still have this allow 50 hertz and 24 hertz. Um, I mean, you know, what? I mean, obviously I'd click this, but like, oh, when a video, when when video apps support that refresh late rate, allow 50 hertz content to be displayed. I feel like that's pointless considering I have 120 hertz display, but whatever. Um, a low latency mode is good. Um, that's also known as game mode. So that's like if you're playing on a TV, uh, your input, the amount of time between you clicking a button and it's showing up on the screen is uh, reduced. Um, it's usually done by um, lowering graphics quality, but um, variable refresh rate, you can turn this on or off depending on what you want. Um, sometimes it can look cool, um, you know, if your refresh rate is switching all the time it might look a little choppy, um, but you know you can you can decide if you want to turn that on or off. I guess 
Um, if you're like going at 120 hertz the entire time and there's some lag, it's gonna look really bad. But um, but yeah, what have you? And I'm not I'm not actually even sure what this YCC four colon two colon two is. Um, apparently, this is to help if there's problems displaying 4K content on your TV. Um, I honestly leave this allow 4K unchecked because. You know, I know there's downscaling and stuff involved here, but I don't have a 4K monitor, so I'm just going... Yeah, I know, even if it's such a low resolution, I'm just going to turn that off because I care more about um, efficiency rather than, you know, <laughs> resolution. Um, HDR10, my monitor supports that, so I have to turn it on, and then auto HDR as well. Um, so, yeah, and... I don't have Dolby Vision. I would, you would most likely have to have a TV to get Dolby Vision. Um, so I don't have that. But uh, so yeah, those are some of the things I think are most important with uh, display quality on an Xbox. Um, and honestly, this is like important for PC gaming as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys found this useful, um, definitely leave a like and subscribe for future educational stuff like this. I'm happy to answer any questions on resolution, refresh rate, um, and, and and stuff like that. Um, you can also calibrate HDR, H, HDR for games. I'm not going to do that right now. but So, yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.